Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting and in this video we're going to show you how to hang an LED wall featuring the DVS Visra LED wall which is one that we proudly sell and bought ourselves here at Learn Stage Lighting Gear um, slash above AVL. Um, so kind of transitioning names over the long time here but if you're new to LED walls you want to learn how to hang one, how to do it properly, how to do it safely, watch this video because you're going to learn a lot. First things first, um, this is take two because I did not have my microphone on on take one. Thus, the wall is partially hung, but that's okay. Makes our life easier. So, step one of hanging a wall is to get your structure ready. So, depending on what you're doing, that could be a truss that's hanging by motors. That could be a ground supported truss like we've got here. Great option. And then something to hang the wall off of it with. In this case, we're using a three foot span set and shackle. Typically that works really great with 12 inch truss or this is 290 millimeter truss, uh, DJ style trusses that we often call it. That can work really well. A lot of times for customers, we'll do just a clamp that attaches around the truss here, has an eye bolt, and then we'll do a shackle just like we have here that then pins in to the connector uh, shackle or similar on the flying bar that comes with the LED wall. Then your next step is to attach your first panel to the header bar or the fly bar that you've put up on your truss. Okay, now that part is really kind of difficult to do by yourself. I wouldn't recommend it. That is the one part of this process that you can't do yourself. Okay, let's walk through what that looks like. So I'm gonna grab a panel here, undo my corner protectors. They just spring up, spring back, all right. And then I'm doing this all backwards so you can see the back of the panels because, well, that's where you always work from, right? And so what we're going to do here is take this hanging bar and place it on top of this panel. We're doing it all backwards, which is extremely odd. Uh, and actually, before we do that, a um, really careful point here is that this particular fly bar has feet on it that go down towards the receivers uh, for the hanging. Now... In this case, the feet are out from a previous floor mounted operation and they need to be in flat or, or behind the bar or else this is not going to work well. Okay, so, so this one's actually a little bit stuck, so I'm just going to grab my wrench off frame here. I've also thought I lost this lit wrench recently, which made me sad because I've had this wrench my entire lighting career, literally. Um, so there we go. Just hit a grumpy thread there. So you can always hit these with a wrench. If you do a lot of walls, I would just include the proper size wrench instead of an adjustable in the box. It'll be a little faster, a little easier. For some reason I may have slightly cross-threaded this one. I don't know, it doesn't feel cross-threaded though. So we got that going. Oh yeah, it's turning on itself now. We can place that on top of our panel, or in the case, lift the panel up to it. Um, the DVS visor panels are magnetic, but the connection to the fly bar is not. So hold on to that single handle, which is uh, really easy to do by yourself. It's way better than the flip up handles that pretty much the rest of the market uses, older panels, etc. And now we're gonna take the pin up so it's got to be on the right here, shows the unlock symbol. Okay, then just to show you, I can go up, match it to the receiver. I will press in the pin on the receiver. Again, two-person job. Tighten. Then go do the other side. And so this side is likely not lined up, so you can look across the front to get it very close to lined up, at which point you should be able to push it up. Find where it lines up just perfect, tighten. Now, one of the things I love about these panels when you're latching them together is these locking mechanisms. They make it so that you can't push this back. It's like a ratcheting lock. You can't disengage it when the wall's hanging unless you push this little safety. Really helpful, really uh, awesome for safety just to make sure everything's on the up and up. 
uh, to undo these, it's going to be the same process. So we're just going to hold down this red trigger, undo it, press this tab, they should pop right out. If they don't, sometimes a little wiggle or jiggle can help you out a lot. It's like so. Again, generally two-person job. Now, when we're hanging panels to other panels, as we have on our fine wall behind us here, it's going to be about the same process, but this time the magnetic alignment is going to help you tons. Um, that's where these Visra panels are really awesome. We love the Visra LED walls because when you look across the market for a high quality, video safe, good looking on video panel that has magnetic locking, this is one of the lowest priced ones and it carries a five year warranty. Really awesome. DVS always takes great care of our customers. Uh, we, we love these walls. And so it makes it as easy as just popping it in, taking it up, letting it connect up via its magnets. Once it's connected, there it goes. It wasn't quite aligned the first time. It will hang there by itself and be fine. You can let go of it. I don't like to because, you know, they're fairly expensive. Um, and then you can unlatch if they're not unlatched already, push them up, same process as before. Um, but this time the receiver will pop out. You don't have to press on it or anything. Same deal, up over we're locked side locks are going to be very similar these have the dvs have a magnetic or not a magnetic a curve lock on the side and so what that looks like is basically if i grab a panel here i'll show you we have the ability from side to side between panel to panel to curve these a number of different degrees so all we do is we unlatch this and if you're in a fairly dark space like I am here, having a headlamp helps a lot with this step. You look in the window, you see what it's set to. So this one was actually set to minus five degrees. So I'm gonna kick it to zero, tighten it down. Same here, just a little window here. Kick it to zero, tighten it down. Now, my side receivers are ready to connect at zero degrees. So let's do that. It's gonna be the same process back there, but we're just gonna push these through from the other panel. They're gonna be up for unlocked, okay? Push them through, tighten them down. Okay, so pop this guy back in the case. And then we're gonna go ahead, boom, they're up, unlocked, push them in. They push through all the way. Then let them ratchet down. If they don't quite ratchet, then something's probably ever so slightly out of alignment. I'm gonna get number two first. So we're just gonna reinsert. And in this case, my um, my curve lock is wrong. So I didn't get that in quite right. It shifted a little bit. That's why it's not good together. I'll take that panel off, adjust that curve lock, and place it back up. But essentially, that's how you hang an LED wall. You keep going across. You keep going down till you've got it set where you need it. Awesome. And then it's time to wire it. So we're not going to do that here, but we've got a great video that we shot last year on DVS's previous line, the optic, on exactly how to do that. Depending on your wall, you might go side to side, you might go up and down, you might zigzag. There's pros and cons, it really depends on your setup. If you're looking for an LED wall, we help people find lots of them. We look across multiple manufacturers, help you find the best LED wall or stage lights or audio or video that you need. So head over to Learn Stage Lighting Gear or AboveAVL.com, both their .coms, and add stuff to your cart, request a quote. Feel free to email us on the contact page. We love to help people find the best fit in amazing gear to make exceptional events and get it to you at that personalized price. If that sounds good to you, head over to our websites, check it out, check out our video on wiring LED walls, and subscribe here to get more about LED walls, configuring them, how to use them, how to make really amazing events with this technology. They're only getting started, they're getting more and more popular every year, and uh, we'd love to help get you one if you're looking for one. And if you're looking for anything else in the audiovisual world, we wanna be your first choice and your only place to get that advice that tells you exactly what to get. No BS, no, hey, I make more money on this, I'm gonna recommend it. We, we just don't do that stuff. Um, instead, we wanna be fair and honest, take great care of you, and still have you as a customer in 20 or 30 years. If that sounds good, head over to learnstagelightinggear.com Check out the rest of our videos here, and we'll be back with another one soon. Thanks.